probably it's all my fault It was my gift to her on our wedding day She was playing with it far too much It's new, it'll be okay When we go to bed she stares at it During the day she doesn't look me in the eyes When I say something she promises to quit I don't want to hear any more lies Oh this ocean of emotions I take notion of explosions And admire her devotion For making different kinds of motions I use caution, I'm not chilling While she's thrilling, re-revealing I am frozen and unwilling Still, it looks so darn fulfilling We are going through the motions Let it stop All she wants to do is so it's time to intervene She needs to know it's a disease that she is sick But going straight cold turkey seems too much She's on a bubble patch that should do the trick How could a simple game have led to this? I need to know and feel it for myself I'm in control of things, going to find out what it is So in the dark of night I took it from the shell And now I'm hooked! I've had nothing but cheers! I overlooked the game with the unicorn tears! How could I ever, ever, ever want someone to stop? Cause all we want to do is... All we play together! Like birds of a better weather, under the weather we know that nothing else matters we don't need food, we're always in the mood So put away your stress, who cares the house is a mess If Trump can win, who are we to stop? And all I want to do is And we are live! Hi everyone, welcome! My name is Dave Luza and today I'm going to do a solo mode playthrough of Noria. And Noria is a great and uh, quite a complex game and I think the solo mode is going to be well, interesting. So uh, we'll see um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll uh, try to explain the game as we are going through it. Um, yeah, Noria is... I think it's... it's a world? Uh, it's supposed to be... Uh, uh, to have a big backstory, but I don't think the game comes with a backstory. Except for it's some kind of steampunky world. We've got uh, three basic resources and... Um, uh, the first one is energy, of course, uh, you always need energy. Then you've got mycelium or mycels, I don't know what the German word for that is. Well, doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, it's, um, it's depicted by these roots that are in, uh, yeah, in the earth, I would say. And connecting everything, so it's some kind of big microorganism. Uh, Mugulas, you played it at, at PAX Unplugged. Oh, that's something. Uh, that, that, that looks like a very cool place to, to go to. I hope at some point I'll be able to go there. I hope for that. Um, and we've got Obsidian, because, of course, where would the world be without Obsidian? And there you have the, the three basic resources. They are mined out of the different worlds. And they are brought to me, my personal, I'm playing red here today. Uh, they're brought to me by these uh, airships. Uh, might be a bit confusing if you look at what, what's going on here and what you're not seeing. You're not seeing a lot of resources and, and stuff. I, I put them aside. But um, 
right here on my right side, on your right side as well, is the game board, which basically um, exists uh, of this beautiful floating island, which is, I guess, uh, called Noria. We will, this here is the turn track. We are doing 16 rounds and every round I need to take one of those pips off and yeah, that that does something. <laughs> I am playing uh, the solo mode and that means that uh, this is my track right over here and this is the solo, how are you? Oh, this is ooh, interesting. I haven't thought of that. You can see, yeah, so you get an idea of how it all works. And if I do this, I end up down here. <laughs> oh man. Um, this is the solo bots wheel. And the, the wheel's gonna turn, and every time when um, I'll show you when it, when when it's time time to do that. First, I have to put my action markers in my wheel, and I have to put it in the right order already. So I don't have a plan. Uh, maybe I should have uh, have a plan when I go into a solo mode, but I I don't have a plan. So I'll just put it in the mode they they tell me to so the first time you you play the game they they give you an idea of how to do it and I'm, I'm just gonna put them like that which will take me a while but I will find it in the meantime maybe it might be a good idea for anyone watching right now to, to tell me what what shall we call the the bot and we can call him bot but there might be a name that might be a bit better so if anyone has an idea please write it in the, in the chat and I will see if I can change it so here it is stack do that for your first game we recommend you do it like this so I'm gonna put the factory token here the green one here obsidian will go here we have the travel option, the build option, and the energy token. So there we are. Um, I'm going to go into the first round and we'll see. I will always be starting player and that will not change during the game. So as my first action, I'm going to take this marker out of the game so we know that this is round one. And the first thing I could do, should I have knowledge, which are these tokens right over here, for one knowledge, I can influence the, the point uh, system. There is only one way to score points in Noria, which is a, quite an interesting way. And that all is right over here. Here are the tracks and uh, under it are politicians that either give points and if there are no politicians in that area, that means that you don't get any points. I might be using the wrong term right here, but I think you'll see, you'll see what, what it does. So right now, uh, red is the track that I started on. I just did it randomly. Um, if at the end of the game, it looks like this, every step on, the, on this track will give me 12 points. But if through some evil way there would be nothing, every step would be worth zero points. So, ooh, Sophia 9000 is the name of the bot. That, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested, why Sophia? What, what's, um... hey, Chris, you're here too, wow. It's, by the way, uh, it just turned midnight here. I just came back from doing a show I'm quite tired, but this is the only <laughs> time that I thought um, I could play it because the weekend is going to be awfully full. So it's, it's going to be a late one, I think. Oh, it's the designer, Sophia. Oh, of course. It's funny that everyone keeps talking about um, uh, Sophia Wagner. I've never heard a, a game name and the designer's name so often in the same sentence as with Noria by Sophia Wagner. And um, yeah, Sophia 9000, of course, let's do that. Let me see if I can quickly change that. 
into Sophia 9000. Where did I put my head? Sophia 9000. Ta -da, ta -da. And there. And now we'll see if it works. Yeah! Oh, look at that. It worked. I love it when a plan comes together. Sure, Sophia, we'll see if what you made is, is, is working for me. How did the show go? Well, the show was, it was great. We were playing for uh, veterinarians and, and para-veterinarians, which are assistants of veterinarians, but you cannot call them assistants. I don't know if that makes sense. But, uh, oh, they had pictures of cats with all kind of weird sicknesses uh, on screen. And right after that, there was, and here is Opsterkwater, as my, my group is called. So that was a really weird, but there was a lot of um, uh, fun for us to be had with, with those sick cats. And, uh, and they all made it. In our show, every, every cat survived. Although once we had to saw one and, and kind of make, make two cats out of it. But that's, that's how improvising goes sometimes. <laughs> I was uh, explaining uh, how the point system works. So if there is a track that you are high on, you want to make sure that you get points for that. And so we've got here the different tracks. This is the obsidian track. This is the mycelium and energy track. This is the, the secondary resources. There is a name for it, but I forgot it. And this is the difficult resources. <laughs> so you've got um, three, three basic resources, then you have three, three goods that come out of those resources, and then you've got two different difficult resources. I think that's the best way to, uh, to go about it. Um, and, well, to go up one track, of course, you need to pay with the resources that that track uh, um, asks for. There are two other tracks here, and I think these are the most important tracks of the game because they will give you points. This one will give you points for the track that you are highest on and that will not give you that many points but it will give you a boost that can really really help and this one gives you points for the track that you are the lowest on and keep that in mind that if you are still in the cave which is right over here that doesn't count so you could go for the strategy of just having one of your pawns really high so you get major points for it because every step here could be worth, and you can't see it, I think, but it, this is, says 16 points. So that's quite a difference. So that might be the way to go. We'll see. Uh, at the beginning of the game, uh, at the beginning of each turn, when it is your turn like it is mine now, you could spend right now one science to put one of those markers down and remove one of them. So that's the way you try to uh, yeah, make sure that you're doing the right, the right thing and, and make points for it. But I don't have any science points right now, so I, I just cannot do it. I don't think I would want to do it right now. But solo mode, you don't get it. So Sophia 9000, um, you, you get, you're getting this free ride right now. <laughs> so after that, it is my turn and it's my, my time to, to go to my wheel and turn it. So it doesn't really quite say how it should be, but this is the way there should be some kind of straight line through here and thematically it would be that this is the part of uh, our world that is in the sunlight and this would be in in the dark so you've got the lower half and and, and the, the front half at least that's how I see it and right now I'm gonna uh, turn everything one click and how big a click is well on the on the top it's very easy because it's 180 degrees I would call that and this one would go like that and this one would go like that. Um, what can you do? 
Well, like I said, it's my turn. And now I can take uh, actions. I can take one action from the upper ring that is in the sunlight. I can take one from the middle ring and one from uh, down here, except for they need to connect. They need to be uh, adjacent to each other. So in this case, the guy that, that the, the, the video I watched, that the guy who explained it, hey, Ambi. Uh, the guy who explained it did really a terrible job and now I'm noticing I'm doing it the same way he did it. <laughs> That's hard. Um, you can only take one action from each ring and they have to be adjacent. So in this case I could take this action, this action and then there's no action adjacent to this green one. So on the other hand I could also go in the other direction taking this action well, this is empty, so I cannot take it, but I can take the action that is beneath that one. And since I don't know what I'm doing yet, I will, I will go for um, getting a mycelium. You can choose the order of doing uh, things, so that's the first thing I'm going to grab. If you have one of those resource tokens, then that means that you're producing that. And how many do you produce? Well, that's as many ships of that kind that you have. So I have one of those ships that brings me one mycelium. So there, he did it. He brought me one mycelium. Yay! The other action I will be able to take this round is the city action. The city action means one of two things. Uh, first, I could move one of my guys out of, uh, out of the cave right here onto one of the tracks. Or I can move one of my guys that is already on a track one step further, but I need to pay for that. So this guy is on the um, on the goods track. I don't have any goods. The game's just starting, so I'm not be able to do that. And I'm not be. I could take one of my no. I can't because it costs two my selling. I cannot take any of those actions, but I can buy something out of the market and I can fill up my wheel with actions that I might want to take later on. And these three goods that I can buy from the market, like I just said, every time they come up, you get the resources. They are free, but from here on, it, it will cost me. I am going to pay one mycelium because that's the cost, uh, one of the three basic resources. I'm going to pay that because I want to buy this travel token. I want to do a lot of traveling this game, so I'm putting it uh, on top of my wheel. At the end of my turn, I have to put it in. So that gives me some time to think, uh, think of stuff and not get confused. I am not confused because my turn is over. There's nothing left I could do. I'm not able to take this energy um, uh, action because I, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm, I'm, I'm working here. So that's not an option. So that is done. Now, now is the moment I should be able to use this action, I think. I, I think at the beginning of the game, you can use your science to move the wheel before it's your turn. So, making a note. It is a hard game. I'm going to make some mistakes. Feel free to just put them in the comments, because I, I will find them, and I will make sure that next time I'll, I'll, I'll be ready for them. So, that was my turn, because I don't have science. I cannot do do one of those uh, uh, actions right here. So I'm going to prepare my wheel for next turn and add this token to it. So I'm going to add it here because that means I will be able to do that every other turn like that. Preparing it, I'll be going there next turn. Now, first, first round of the uh, Sophia 9000, as we called her. Um, this pip is nothing anymore. So uh, at the beginning of the turn, the Sophia will, will make her turn. This one moves, this one moves, and this one moves. In the solo mode, there is this line right over here where it, an action could come from the darkness into the light, into the sun. And every marker that is marked A, B, or C that hits this line right over here, that activates, that comes into the light, will do uh, its thing. 
that's what the Automa rules say. The Automa rules are not in the base game included, but you can download them from. Uh, I got the, mine from from of course from Board Game Geek, and it's it's fairly easy. They tell you how to do it, and that are different uh, difficulty levels. I just took the the base difficulty. <laughs> I think it's going to be hard enough. What do they do? So at the beginning, I will need to read up on what these action do. We're going to do action A, B, and C. The first one is move the ambassador of. Uh, so do a travel action for for Sophia nine thousand for for the bot. I put her randomly over here. As she moves. She takes one step. These islands are. Uh, adjacent to our big Noria Island, I guess, and we have one of our ambassadors there. And if I take a travel action, I move my um, my ambassador one stop, and on the island where he lands, I can do one of two things. We're, we're gonna do that, one of those things now with the ambassador of, of Sophia 9000. So she goes right over here, and now she could do two things. She, she could build a, a factory, on one of those four different spaces right over here. Or, and that is what the Automa rules tell us to do, she will take this mycelium ship and, well, bring it to the box. So that one's out. She's uh, depleting the resources that we are able to get. And that is the A action, which will probably come up a lot. And after turn 10, it will turn into an energy boost action. We'll, we'll see how that works later on. So I took a ship from the right side of the island and put it back into the box. And that was that one. Oh, I'm sorry for that. And now I'm going to do action B, which is move the ambassador and build one faction, uh, one factory. So that's nice. We're going to do two things in one time, one turn here. Moving the uh, ambassador, not taking one of those available ships here. Oh, I I messed it up. That is not good. Let's see if I can fix that easily. The best thing to do is just slide this one up. There we are. And fix this one as well. Uh, there's some preparation in getting everything right, and if you mess it up, you mess it up good. But that's just the way it is. There. I thought I did a good job with marking everything with tape, but if I bump into the camera, then that's my own fault right there. <laughs> oh, MB, are you excited for tomorrow night? I don't know if it's uh, still a secret, but we are recording a an episode of This Game is Broken with Ambi as our special guest. Woohoo! Yeah, so nice that you're here. Okay, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the Sophia is going to do things. She is going to build a factory on the next island. Why does she do that? Well. She will get some science that is not important for the Automa, but she, um, of course, is blocking, blocking my stuff. If someone builds a factory on one of those islands, they get, I call them blueprints. They give them uh, uh, abilities to make some of the goods that you need. So in this case, building a factory here would give a regular player two blueprints to make, in this case, um, uh, light. So you would put them right over here. And this would mean for two energy and one obsidian, you could produce, um, you could produce light, a lantern, and you can use that to move up one of those tracks. But it's the Automa. She does everything by herself, so she doesn't need those. Just blocking my ability to to take that spot and, and build the lights there for myself. So, that was the B action. Already depleting all of my options for later on. And now the C action, move and remove politicians. Check on which path the bot representative is on the highest level. Well, that's easy. 
and then move one politician to the lower section of the corresponding chamber. So that would mean this every step on this track will not be worth zero points, so at least two points. And then remove one of the representatives where I am highest. So taking away this, this block right over here. Okay, not cool, but what can you do? So those are the actions of the bot. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yep. Okay, my turn. Taking away this thing. And I am... Yeah, I forgot to tell you, or I did it wrong in the first uh, in the first round. I can use science to change uh, the way my wheel looks. I could move one of the uh, wheels. It will cost me science. I don't have any science points, so I will not be able to do that. But I could. So now we move to the second part of my turn, and that is activate my 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 rondel rondel. I've got two travel actions right over here and one energy. I don't have to choose. There's nothing to choose from. And I am going to start because it's my first turn. I think I can choose where I start. So I will make sure um, I will start here. And when you do a travel action, first thing you need to do is really travel. So I'm doing that. And I'm going to take this energy ship Every time energy comes up, I produce now two energy, which is, of course, smart because energy will come up because it's coming up in a second. Now I am moving again. And I think I'm, I'll make sure I'll, I'll, I'll get more stuff. Uh, and what am I getting? I'm going to take this mycelium. And now I'm producing two energy. There we go. Not doing anything else because I don't have science. I cannot do the politician's trick right over there. So my turn is over and this marker is out. I'm going to prepare for next turn. That's one. And that's two. And that's three. And now the Automa is doing its stuff. Sophia, 9,000. There. And there. So it's going to be a shorter turn this this round because nothing moved into the light over here and here we've got E. Action E means move representative in my path. Move the butt representative up one level on the path in which your highest representative is present. If the butt representative has already reached level 9, choose the path with your second highest representative. If there is no butt representative on that path, move one butt representative from the cave onto the first level of that path. Okay. So it's moving up in my highest. So it's not moving by itself? No. It's not, so it's just copying me, I guess. So here we go. Uh, one step. Evening out with, with me. If the bot at some point is higher than me, just like in a regular game, if a player ha is higher on a track, then I need to pay a random resource extra for every player that is above me in a track. So it would be a big deal if, uh, if the bot would... Yeah, would... Would, 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 what am I saying? If the bot would cross me, no? Oh, all those different languages. Doesn't really matter at this moment because it's my turn again. Uh, the other action, there, the, the, this one was empty. This was uh, action E and this is a empty action as well. So I have a city action, I have a travel action and I have an energy action. I could choose to go this route and uh, do a build action, which is uh, can be one of two things. It can make one action better, 
or it can uh, produce goods that you already have blueprints on and enough resources of. Yeah. So I'm going to <laughs> go for this one. I'm going back to the area that is up on the Autobot track. The Autobot track, that's Sophia's track. Here, let me, let me see. Uh, there is, I want to see what, the blueprints do. Oh, that, that could be interesting. I am going to build a factory right over here. So I will get two blueprints to make wings because that's important if you live on floating islands. At some point you're gonna need wings. So I've got the blueprints for them. It costs two mycelium to, to make them um, for each uh, pair of wings. And uh, this is also the capacity of how many I can hold. So once I use at some point the build action, I can uh, uh, flip them over, pay with the mycelium and get the stuff I want for it. So did that and now the last one no, that was the, the, the travel action. Now I get two energy and I can go to the market again or I can go up a step on the energy track. No, I'll, I'll go to the market some more. Maybe first get some more energy. So now I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Hmm. Interesting. I will already analysis paralysis in a solo game. That's not good. I will do, I will choose something. I will buy an energy token. It's free. So there we go. Now we are at the end of my game and I am producing, at the end of my round, I am producing now one science. So that's good. There we are, one science. Preparing for next round. Let me turn this first. When we bought it at Essen, uh, Noria, at Essen this year, they had um, smaller tiles, the game uh, came with uh, very thin tokens that were uh, not really working. So they said immediately when we bought them, please come back later this week because we will have thicker tiles and they really were necessary. So I hope that they already put them now into the, the base game. So once you, you buy Noria, you get them in the thicker variant because you really need it if you if you would have those thin tokens, they would, it, it was very fiddly, but now it, it really works good. But where to put it? That is the question. I think I will go for that and I will. You know what? I'm gonna change my mind for this one. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take this one and put it right over here. So that will cost me two resources right over there. So there you go. Yes, you could, uh, you probably have played with the Thin Ones, uh, Mutos. Um, they didn't have them yet. So they were very... Was it fiddly for you? Yeah, oh yeah, you already wrote, oh good, because it's... Um, it, it wasn't good. My turn is over and we are Turning Sophia 9000. Here we go. Again, two empty actions, which is good for me. And I think I forgot at the beginning of my turn to take that thing out. So, and she just does the A action move the ambassador and take one ship. So, there we go. Whoop move the ambassador, take one ship. Should this have been a normal game, 
with a regular player, then now that player would have had to pay a resource because just like uh, moving on the track, if there's someone there already and you want to take that action, you need to pay for, with a random resource. So there we go. Next round, taking the pip off this time. And what am I going to do? I already thought of what I wanted to do. I'm going to take a build action. Building is uh, easy because you can upgrade one of the other tokens and you can take that action twice. So that is very interesting. I'm going to upgrade my travel action. So you can upgrade every token on the board, but in any, any given round, you're only uh, allowed to do four actions. So if I would have had every action upgraded, I could do every action twice and makes a total of six. But um, yeah, you were saying they were getting caught in the wheel. Yeah, terrible. I, I saw it and I tried it out at the, um, at the room where they uh, put their copy of the game for the press. And I was tinkering with it and I thought, oh no, this is bad, this is bad. But then they all said, no, please come back, please come back because uh, we have thicker, yeah. Um, like I said, you can only do four actions in one turn. So even if you got everything upgraded, you have to choose. You cannot uh, do six as you probably would have been able to do at some point. By the way, this would be a good moment maybe to tell you about this bonus tile that you can buy in the market right now it's the most expensive one uh, this part of the market is randomized and this just happened the way this was the way it ended up uh, this is a multiply multiplier for the other actions so if you would have put it in your wheel and it would come up it would mean that you can as an action double the action of another Thing. But still, you cannot go over four actions a turn, so I I don't see the use of this thing yet. But maybe maybe I'm just not seeing it. So my action here was upgrading this one. So this that was my first action, and now I'm gonna uh, yeah well we'll we'll see because I've got a plan. Now I'm gonna do this action twice. Move here, get a mycelium, move here, get a mycelium. And now I'm going to produce mycelium. That means I've got four of those there. That's the way to go. I think I'm very smart right now. <laughs> and I'm preparing for next round. Oh, I could spend now my knowledge to, to move up. No, not move up, but get... Um, Get some points going. I think I'm doing that. I think. Yep. I'm spending my knowledge to move this one down and remove this one from the game. I don't want him to get all the points at the end. She, uh, her. I don't want her to have all the points. So, preparing for next round. One, two, and three and we are in Sophia's turn empty 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 this is going great <laughs> my turn again now it now the game is going fast I have a city action I've got another mycelium action and I have a building action now this is interesting I think it's good just to take mycelium because I'm able to build those wings. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I am building, I went for the mycelium, now I'm taking the building action. Like I said, you can upgrade one of your tokens, but the other action you can take with it is produce. And I've got two factories. So I could uh, produce that. It's depicted right here how you can produce. You can produce either in one line, which means um, all the uh, the factories that have the same end result, like in this case wings, could produce. 
So you can make as many as you want. Or you can say, no, every type of resource can uh, produce one of the resources that, or one of the goods that come out of it. So in this case, I've got no choice. And I've got a lot of mycelium, so spending those four mycelium I just got to make myself two wings, brand new wings. Flip them over. So I've got I've got those two now. Should I spend them, I would just flip them back because the factory is still there. I'm, I still have the blueprint, so I'll still be able to, to make it. And now I'm going to the uh, do the city action, and that is on the board right over here, where I can buy more stuff, or I can move up one of the tracks. Now that is exactly what I want to do, because I don't like it that Sophia is in my neck, breathing right over here. So I'm going to take this one step, pay for it with one of those three goods, and that is a compass, by the way and a propeller, I think that's the right word, and wings, I do have wings, I've got one wing, spending this one wing to pay for that one step right over there. And that is my turn, so preparing for next round. Last round I did not take um, the science, and I'm getting one science right now. So, preparing for the next round, here we go, and now it is Sophia 9000's turn, one, two, three, okay, a lot of stuff happening, first off, I'm going to take the, take the notes with me, um, first thing that happens is move the ambassador and take one ship. Moving and, no, that's me. Oh, did I just mix them up? Probably. Moving the ambassador and removing one ship from the game. Then we have the B action was uh, which move the ambassador and build a factory. Thank you very much. And the other action is D. Move representative in most valuable path. I think that's my path. Right? Move the bot representative up one level on the path in which... Uh, no, D was it. Most representative in... Move the butt representative up one level on the most valuable path in which it has not already reached level 9. In case of a draw, choose the rightmost path if there is no butt representative on that path. Move one butt representative from the cave onto the first level of that path. So, I would say the most valuable path, but that would always be... Hmm, this is a... <laughs> yeah... Sophia's back. Um, that, what do you th you guys think? There are four paths. The most expensive, uh, the most valuable path is always... Oh, maybe they mean um, where you're certain what the point's going to be. And that would be the path that we are both on. Hmm. On the most valuable path in which it has not already... In the case of a draw, choose the rightmost path if there's no button. Yep, that this must be it. Yep, taking this step. Not cool, but that's it. I'm probably trying to, to beat her to the end, which is going to be impossible. I already, <laughs> I can already see that. Okay, that was her turn, my turn. By the way, if you look at the turn order track, now there are two sign symbols visible. And that means that if you want to take this action where you um, take one of those cubes uh, down and remove one from the game, now it costs two of those science tokens, which I have. So I think I'll probably do that this turn, but still not cool. Here I go. I'm going to have three travel actions and a build action, which is exactly what I want. My first travel action is move here, build a factory, 
and get two more of those mycelium blueprints. Then I am moving uh, into the, what is a compass? What do I need to pay to make a compass? That is green and black. Why am I making energy? That is, <laughs> I should have thought that before I started producing it, but okay. I will move here and build a factory on or two factories on the propeller space. So right over there. This is not a propeller. This is a compass. Oh, I wanted to do a compass. There is no compass. I'm moving here. That was it. There. So compass blueprints, there they are. But I need more obsidian for that and now I am moving back here yeah to get myself a obsidian uh, ship okay I just did that so traveled three times now I'm gonna upgrade I'm gonna build some more of those wings because I'll need more wings to move up the track I have four of those green thingies so I can build two more wings and here they are wouldn't that be cool just to be able to fly yeah uh, I would guess pink green oh as the most valuable track well that's only worth two points at, the, at this point so and this one is for certain worth three points so I'm gonna stick with my guess here yeah we'll see if we uh, if we get some conclusiveness from it I am spending two of my knowledge to yeah I think if he's just gonna walk behind me that would not be good so I'm gonna try and be smart I think this is the way to go I'm gonna outsmart him take this one here and remove this one there oh, so smart <laughs> playing by yourself and thinking that you're smart that that's <laughs> that's rough preparing for next round one two uh, three and I am producing two signs at this moment there we are. Sophia is back. Oop. There's the fiddliness, although it, it rarely happens. And this one and this one. She is doing a E and an F action. E was move representative in your path. Move the butt representative up one level on the path in which you your highest representative is present. Oh, she's going to overtake now. Not cool. I'm going to need to pay extra for it. Okay. Yeah, that's what she did. In case of a draw, well, there's no draw. That's easy. And then the F action. Upgrade discs. Oh, we haven't had that for her yet. A disc is upgraded by flipping it from its normal dark side to its upgraded light side. And... Yep. And do that in the order... Uh, where they will be activated in. Upgrade the normal letter disc, with, which will be rotated into the active half of the bot wheel next turn. If more than one disc will be rotated into the half next turn, upgrade the disc in the highest ring. So that would be the C. Turning it over, giving that a double action. If no disc will be available next turn, find the next valid. Well, there's one. Okay, did that. Back to my to my side. Right now we have science. We need to pay an extra science if we want to do that. And I have a build action. I have a travel action and a city action. Well, 
I see that my Selim is going to be back in stock in a second. So that looks good. But I'm going to build more factories so I gain more science. That's not entirely true. I This would not work. Okay, I'm using this action to upgrade my city action. So I can do two city actions right now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one extra step on this track that will cost me two wings, which I still had. But because Sophia 9000 is in my path, I need to pay extra. Did that, paid an extra energy for that one. And I still have a, tr oh, that was my first city action for my second city action. I want to make sure that I, uh, I'm not, I'm not using it. Why am I doing it then? That's a very good question. Doesn't make sense. I think it makes sense later on. I'll, I'll keep it the way it is. So did that, did that. I've got one travel action. I'm traveling here in front of uh, Sophia and I will just build another factory here on the propeller track. Don't know why, but I did it. Now I know how to make propellers. Whoop, whoop. So that was that. That was that. I'm done. I gain two science. I think I forgot to take off a pip. Yes. And preparing for next round. One, two, three. And Sophia has got her A action, an empty action, and a double C action. Okay, I'm so going to lose this game, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Um, action A was until up until round, round 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I should do that a couple of more times. Move the ambassador and take one ship. So here she comes. But there is no ship, so the action is cancelled. Now, if the action of the disc placed on the small ring of the bot wheel is cancelled, use the investment action instead. If the cancelled... So would she move then? Yeah, probably. And what is investment? Move representative in most valuable path. No, that's again my track. Ugh. There she goes. Yep. Okay, did that. That was the A action. Now we're going to do the C action twice. Move and remove politicians. Check on which path the butt representative is on the highest level. So that's my track as well. Then, um, okay, moving this one down. But then remove one politician from the upper section of the corresponding chamber. Um, and then move one politician. Check on which path my representative is on the highest level and remove one. So she's she's just doing both. There we go. So we know every step on that one track, the good track, is worth six points. So at least we know. But she's doing that action twice. So she would. She's not able to do that right now. That means the most... Let me see. Uh, well, it makes sense that she would do it right now for this one. And remove one. Hmm, needs to remove one. In case that you cannot move one politician in one of the chambers corresponding, move one in the specialization chamber. In the case that you cannot remove one politician from a chamber corresponding to a path in which one of your representatives is present, remove one politician from the division chamber. No, that was my tactic all along. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's see here. Ugh! I'm so gonna lose. Who cares? My turn. Two travel actions, getting mycelium and getting energy. Well, since I'm getting energy, I might as well get some more. Or shall I... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll go here, back to this one. I'm going to build another factory so I'll get another blueprint for wings. Then I am... No, that doesn't make sense. That does not make sense. I will get a blueprint. I will go here and get the energy token, and then I will go here to put a factory on the what is it a torch that's um i think it's a sonic screwdriver i think it is yep sonic screwdriver taking that okay looks good now i'm producing energy which is three one two three and mycelium which is four one two three four there we go I am, yeah, I am what? Using, yeah, I think I, I just use it. It costs three science to do the politician thing. I'm going to put this one down. I'm, I'm removing this one. I, I'm afraid that. <laughs> I'm, I'm removing this one. I don't know how, 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 how high I will be able to climb just doing that one. It was my turn. I receive one, two, three science. And I'm preparing for next round. There we go. And looking at this, I did not take one of those off there. And moving Sophia's. And she's got three times nothing. <laughs> good thing for me. Next round. I've got two city actions. I have... Oh, I should... I want to produce. That would, would have been better. An energy... I've got a problem. I've got no obsidian. That's not good. So let's get obsidian. I will get it next turn. Together with a travel action. Ah, so this could be the moment where you could say, I'm spending an extra um, an extra science to spin the wheel in my favor. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to spin it. Um, I'm spending one to choose one of the rings and move it. There we go. I'm going to bring my obsidian into, into the game. That's not good. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that, but then still I would rather do something else. Okay, I am spending another one to do the other thing. Change two of the um, uh, two of the action tokens. So I'm not turning it like I could do here for one, but I'm changing. I'm paying two, and I'm changing obsidian for. Um, for what? Well, why not this one? Yep. So mycelium will come up next time. I still have that. And now I get stuff. So that was before my turn. So now I get three energy. One, two, three and two of those obsidians. It's not much, but eh, what can you do? Now I can take another... I cannot take a step because I don't have enough resources. I could take a step on the energy track. I, I do have a lot of energy. So here is the thing. <laughs> If I have multiple um, uh, tokens on, on, on the tracks, 
that would mean that at the end of the game, I need to get them both as high as I can. I don't think I'm able to do that. So I'm not even thinking about doing it. I'm just going to move with that one token on the good track. Hopefully it makes it to the end. If it does, I'm going to get a lot of points. If it doesn't, I'm going to lose anyways. So I'm going to I'm going to leave it like that. I will though get another obsidian from the market. I don't know yet where I'm going to put it, but we'll we'll see. And yeah, might as well get another token. Uh, which one? I'll, I'll take another one of those. They're free. Take it. And at any point, should I don't want them, I could still uh, remove them. I'm going to get three science. Here we go. One, two, three. And my turn is over, so I'm preparing for next round. One. Two and three. And I can still put these guys in. I'm going to put this one here and I'm going to put this one here. Seems like a smart plan. <laughs> I don't know. So we are going to Sophia. One, two and three. We're doing a, a action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Haha, -ha. we are in the final part of the game. That means that she's doing an energy boost. Rotate middle and large ring. So middle and large ring. They get an extra boost and now everything that um, activated gets activated. So we've got <clears throat> some more actions right over there. Not cool. Not cool at all. So we've got B and E. B was the one, move the ambassador and build one factory. So here we go. Building a factory, I think it's gonna be on the double in case of a draw. Yeah, it's gonna go here. And that was the B action. And then we have the E action, move representative in your path. Ah, uh, another step. It's gonna be hard. But hey, what can you do? That was that. My turn again. Now we passed this point, meaning that what I did last round, where I changed the wheel or, or, or um, turned the wheel another step or changed the action tokens on the wheel, that is uh, one science more expensive right now. But what am I doing? I am for sure building stuff and I'm traveling three times. So that, that kind of settles it. What am I building? Oh, this is interesting. I think I'm going to upgrade my other building token because that will come up next round. That makes sense. Upgrading this one right now. I could already build stuff right now. But I couldn't ship them anyway, or, or, or go up the track and anyway, so that doesn't work. So I'm doing this one, and now I'm traveling three times. One, two, three. I see that I can still end on this obsidian uh, tile here, so might as well do that. Oh, then I have to pay an extra action, uh, an extra resource, because... Oh, I might have done that wrong in previous rounds. Yeah. What can you do? So I'm going to go here and build a factory, giving me uh, giving me stuff. One extra wing. Then I'm moving here. I'm going to take this obsidian one, but I'm going to pay for it with an extra energy. And then I am moving over here to get another factory going there he goes i can make another propeller so those were my three move actions and i did that one i get one two three four of those or maybe i want to spend some 
before I do that. Yeah. I will spend four science to do this again. He goes down and I will remove uh, yeah I will remove this one. Yeah, um, that's what I did. Now I get my four back. Just should have kept them. Prepare for next round. One, two, and three. If you're still watching, that's great. I can't believe that you're still here. If not, I understand. It's a long game. What time is it? Oh, we're only playing an hour. So, yeah. So, Sophia is moving one, two, three, only taking a D action. And D is move representative in most valuable path. So I think it's still this one. Yeah. I think it is. Uh, yep. Okay. Next turn. I've got two city actions. I have... Oh, I also have two build actions. I think I need to build. What can I build while I am there? Um, to move up my next step, I need to have two different resources. I, I could not just go for the... Um, and go for the uh, uh, for the wings, for example, because I need to have different resources. So I could do that, and I can do that, and I can do that. Okay, I will use this first build action and make one in each column. So the first one is two wings. There we goes. I am making a compass. And I am making a propeller there. And that that's nice. And that gives me two, four different ones. I need five to make two steps happen. So I need more. I get three more of those one two three so i did this once i've done this now i'm building some more what can i do what can i do one of those and one of those building another compass and another propeller And that puts me on this track, paying an extra resource, which will be energy. And I pay for it with... I pay for it with... Oh, now I see the problem. Huh, we'll see. One of those and one of those. I took a step there. All good. I am... Do I want to do another politician move? I think I will. And I will remove this one and I will block this one. There, and I get them back at the end of the game, at the end of the turn. One. Well, that's very good. <laughs> you go and, and multitask. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the work for both of us, I guess. <laughs> it is quite an, a complicated game. And I'm not able to strategize because that, that would just take too far too long. So, um, yeah. That was my turn. That was over. And now Sophia 9000 is up. Moving the A into place this one into place and that 
I already know what the A action is, namely move the other two some more. So we've got a B action, two C actions and an F action. So the B one was move the ambassador and build one factory. There we go, another white factory on the map. Then we have the C action twice, move and remove politicians. Check on which path the bot is on the highest level, then move on politician to the low. Yeah, that's not able, we're not able to do that. We're not able to do that. And now we are ah, not able to do that. In the case that you cannot move one politician in one of the chambers corresponding to a path where one of the bot representatives is present, move one politician in the specialization chamber. In the case that you, you cannot remove one politician from a chamber corresponding to a professor, 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 remove one politician from the division chamber. If there are no unplaced politicians left, this action is cancelled. Well, that's not what happened here. Uh, in the case that you cannot... Oh, wait. Check on which path the bot is on the highest, then move one politician. Check on which path your representative is on the highest, then remove one. In the case of a draw, choose the rightmost chamber. Okay. Oh, so moving one down here and removing one. Okay. Do that twice. Moving one down here and removing this one. Yep. And now the F action upgrade discs for the next one that is coming into play. It's the E one. There he goes. Okay, done that. My turn. We've got four rounds to go out of 16, and we're doing good. I've got two travel actions, which does mean nothing, so I'm not going to bother looking at it. I've got the build action. I would love to get the city action, but that's not really a... Uh, a possibility now so let me prepare for the next city action and that means I need to make different resources three different ones for the first step which I have but I do not have the step that comes after that and for that I would need so I would love to get four wings in total so i could do one time three and one time three different ones that means i need my ceiling right now which is not available so i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, change two tokens taking this my thingy and switch with the obsidian Producing four mycelium. Oh, I should I should switch with that travel action because that's a completely useless action right now. There, that makes sense. So now I've got four. Now I can switch those four into, like I said, two of those wings and now so I did that and I did that I get two obsidian no I get three obsidian so next round I'll be moving on that track that's good and hey guys oh what, what are you doing I'm gonna do boring art stuff ah thank you Oh man, so this this must be Nick because I don't see Mike do any sketching or or painting or or just I mean he's got he's got his buddy as art right. So great that you're here. I, I especially took the night shift on this one. It's uh it's one oh seven. I did a show tonight and I thought, uh, why not? If not now, when will I be able to uh, to 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 stream this game uh, I've got a busy week coming up oh, I've got uh, two funerals and stuff stuff going on but um, 
Yeah. It's not, not that personal to me. But, yeah. I know it's Nick. Of course I know it's Nick. Of course I do. Uh, what was I doing? It's a hard game. Oh, no. You took me out of my focus right here. My, my, my dream palace. Uh, I took... I did that. I did that. Took this, and now I can do another build action. I could. Oh, that that would be nice. I could improve on the resources I get. I could do that. Should I do that? Why not doing that? And that means I would have gotten four more of those. No, because then I would not have gotten obsidian, which is good because I don't want it. I think. I don't want it. Ha! There. And that means I could have made another one of those wings. It all pans out. Kind of. I'm not bothering that anymore because that's just silly, so I gain four one, two, three, four science tokens. M preparing for next round. Two, whoop. And one, two, three. Okay, Sophia 9000 is doing a double E action. And the E action is move representative in your path. Yeah, sure, and she does it twice. There we go, into the realm that of never catching up. Thank you very much. Did that. Good thing is, she's done. Going to the next round. Two city actions. That's perfect. That is exactly what I wanted, because I want to take two steps. Three different resources and three of the same. One, two, three different ones and one, two, three. Here we are. Need to pay with two extra resources, which is going to be green because I'm going to be swimming in green in, in a second. And, oh, I should probably keep that one and pay with that one. That makes more sense. So did that. Two city actions. Um, I could get some more obsidian and build some more of those propellers. Why not? Two. And I am preparing for next round. One two, and three. Sophia's turn, she's doing the A, whoop, whoop, and we know what the A stands for. Some more movement, but nothing happens. Quick rounds. I think this is the penultimate round, isn't that the word? Um, what am I doing? getting a lot of, I wanted to say buttload, but then I thought, no, that would not be appropriate. I don't know. I'm getting eight of those. I am having a travel action, which is completely useless. And I have three energy. Now, I think I'm going to change this around. I will pay three and switch these guys out. Oh no, yeah. Uh, switch out these guys. Fiddly fiddly. There. And I'm gonna do two, four, six, eight, and make myself four different. Uh, wings. Wings! <clears throat> I will be getting five of those 
signs things uh, for. I think I forgot to take last round, but it doesn't matter. Prepare for next round. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Sophia is taking a B action, which was move the ambassador and build a factory, which is easy there. And the D action is move res representative in most valuable path. Well, right now, that's this one. Because now you get eight points for that one. B and D. There we go. As easy as that. That means it's the last round. We're almost uh, doing scoring. <clears throat> Let me see what I'm able to do. I am able to take one more step over there. I could build something. And I would need eight different resources. So I'm, I'm I'm switching things around, so I'll be able to do that. I'm going to do I'm go, I'm going to take two city actions. That's for sure. But to do that, I need at least one of those two goods, and that's either green or black and green. I still have this one, so I should be all good. Just make sure that I'm changing green into the order. So let me just switch these around one and one. So I'll get four greenies. I'll produce that one. So I'll get this. And now I'm taking two steps, giving different resources and the same resource also spending two extra I'm all out which is probably a good thing and so it doesn't matter I, I'll probably get some signs for one two three four and Sophia is doing this one E and F is in and we take an extra swing at it Whoop. So her last turn is doing a double E action, a double C action, and an F. Now she's raking in the points, probably. And double C. C was move and remove politicians. Well, that's easy. Whoop. If she can't, she can't. And it's cancelled. Uh, if the action on the disc placed in the small ring of the butt wheel is cancelled, well, no, that's not cancelled. So we're good on that one. Double C is just once because it was over. And then we do double E, move representative in your path where I am. So she's taking that last step, which is, uh, I don't like it. But what can you do? If there is no butt representative on that path, move, no, okay. Uh, in the case of a draw, choose the rightmost path. If there is no other path with one of your representatives, the action is cancelled. There is no more, because I'm only on one path. Ah! And the next one is upgrade discs, which is completely useless. We're going into the points right now. Ha! We made it until the very end. Who would have thought? And I think I need something to write with. Would have been smart if I would have prepared for that, but here we are. Now make sure that you guys see what I'm doing. We don't need that anymore, so here we are. Ha! And in the first column, so we've got Dave, and we've got Sophia, 9,000. So there are only six places you can, uh, can make points. The first one is right over here. Four points for every step you are. Uh, one of your representatives has taken here, which is zero and zero. The next one is four points for every step on this track. And 
uh, Sophia is on step one, so she's going to get four points for that. I get zero. The next one is six points for every step on this track. I am on step number eight, so that means that I will get six times eight is 64, I hope. Oh man, it's late. It's it's 120. Oh, I, I'm able to do simple math like that, but right now it feels like I my mind is just, is it 84? It's 84, right? Oh, this is unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's distressed because you guys are watching. Stop watching. I can do this. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, 48. If I say it loud in my own language, I can do it. Hmm. And five times, what? Oh, uh, six times nine. <laughs> Uh, 54. I hope everyone turned off. Next, zero points and eight points. And now, this is interesting. Oh, yes. This, oh, I, I think I did very well. I probably did it wrong. This is the moment where I, I get a lot of points. Not on this one, because this says your highest gets... Um, oh, I forgot this was here. Hmm. Okay, I have to put an asterisk to whatever this is at the end because I screwed up. I didn't see that where they were still up. We'll keep it the way it is. It, it doesn't really matter, I would say, because even if they would both have been down, which would not be possible, that would just end up being four points more for Sophia because she's got one one step uh, is one step ahead of me so I'm, I'm gonna give her four which is more than she probably would have gotten and now is the big points and that was my tactic from the beginning and I think that's the only way you can uh, play this game and that's probably also the reason that we know that I've done it wrong when we come to that point where Mooglos was talking to me and I was uh, where he said, I think it's the pink green one. It's, we don't know. I have to check, I have to look on the Board Game Beat forums. Uh, 12 points for the uh, amount of steps that you are lowest on. So that would be level one here gives 12 points to Sophia, but I've got eight times 12. So that would make my point total be over 120 and that would make me the winner oh I think it's a reward even if I did it wrong eat that Sophia 9000 168 against 82 ha I doubled you how about that well even if I might have not uh, played right this is how you play Noria. It really is a fun game. And if you've got real people that are not that automated like, uh, like that, Sophia, then uh, it really is a lot of fun. And <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. I, I, uh, I had fun playing. I think it's amazing that there is so much interaction that I can just play a game in my room and you guys are watching I think that's incredible so I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching um, on Wednesday I'm gonna uh, do a game of uh, fog of love with Ilka my wife and it's I think that one's gonna be a uh, real fun uh, to see so like I said, I'm going to give you one more uh, song, a musical look at a game that uh, I made for Board Game Blender. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Got a couple of guys stopping by tonight. We're going to build some civilizations. Civilizations. All pumped up, all ready to fight. Playing one of my favorites. Nations. Nations. Gonna, Gonna play, play as king. king.
winning, although I've never won. I feel my winning streak has just begun. Got my man Augustus all ready to fight. I'm gonna get that legionary. Legionary. Then the colonies are in my sight. Don't forget not playing solitary. Not solitary. What's going on? What you doing, friend? Stumping around on your elephant. Bring a war to my door. I know that I'll be okay. I'm happy to lose Medieval times are smiling down on me I'm the proud new owner of Prussia Prussia oh, You've got spectacles you can see Which nation's gonna crush ya? Gonna crush ya Things are going right so something must be wrong Sure the So I'll be back for more The renaissance I did okay I will not quietly go under Go under I'm a great industrialist Titanic, a strategic wonder Strategic wonder at end of game The civil war takes me down in flames I know that I'll be okay Whatever I will do I just wanna play I'm happy to lose So I'm a loser, baby, so why won't you play me?